welcome or welcome back to my channel, House of AB Design. I'm AB and I'm so happy you decided to click that thumbnail. Well, it's that time of year where I focus my attention outdoors. And this year, I'm excited because I get to style my new patio. But not before I tell you this funny story about how I thought I was going to lay some pavers in my backyard. It all started when I had this grand idea that I was going to do my own patio. I had watched several YouTube videos and yeah, it seemed pretty simple. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I got some patio pavers, the ones you see here. I got some uh, sand, I got some weed blocker, and I got the, um, they were called paver panels, that that's what you see up underneath the um, pet, that's what you see right here. It's a like flexible um, board, I think it comes in like 2 by 36 inches or something, and you can nail it down with landscape fabric. Anywho, back to the story. So, I painstakingly put each one of those pavers in my um, SUV, brought it home, and painstakingly walked around the, the back of the house. Um, I realized very early on, first of all, I didn't prep the area. I was not digging all that dirt, okay? And uh, I was doing all this solo. So, if you can see the, the extent of... The yard I kind of cut the grass a little lower so that I could see you know my vision of, of what I wanted the paver area to look like um, it was all good in my mind until I really started getting in and, and and trying to really do something well I uh, injured my back a little bit <laughs> and it was then that I decided that I need to call in some professionals. And so that's what I did. So instead of pavers, I opted for a concrete patio. With a blank slate, I now needed to furnish it. And in true AB fashion, I think you all know what I'm getting ready to do. So just like Home Depot, Lowe sells wood that's deeply discounted. I got this bundle of wood for $15. After bringing the bundle of wood home, I went through and sorted through what I was going to use for the furniture build. And then I went back to uh, Lowe's to get some pressure treated wood so that I could use the um, wood for the frame. And I, that was an additional $35 for, the, for that. I also purchased an $11 pressure treated post that I had the uh, store cut for me so that I could use them as the legs for the furniture. So let's take a look at the design inspiration for this particular project. I came across this article outdoor sectional a few weeks back and I really liked the lines of it and I thought that would be perfect something similar out on the patio deck and then I saw how it was configured so I wanted to do something a little similar with the configuration so let's get started Years ago, before I purchased my first home, I used to binge watch HDTV. And there was a show called Design on a Dime. I don't know if you guys remember. The host used to find designer setups, uh, room scenes, and um, used to present them to her clients. And the room scene would be, nine times out of 10, would be very uh, pricey. It would be way out of budget. And she would uh, pull it all together, um, use inspiration, you know, she would use the room as inspiration. And just inspiration being, it wasn't exactly the same, but the elements and maybe the configuration or something like that um, 
was very similar. And I think that's what I'm what I what I like doing. You know, I like to to see something or see something that's beyond what's there and just kind of give it a little bit of um, you know, give it a twist, give it a give it a little tweak and realize that, you know, you can actually look around your home or, you know, find something a little less expensive and get the same look for way, way under budget. If you haven't figured out by now, I absolutely love building things. I like taking things from start to finish. I like small projects as well. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing the results of your hard work, especially something that you created. So here you see me pre-drilling the holes in the wood. That's so the uh, wood won't split. Um, and then I'll follow up with actually putting the screws in. And I added another tool to my arsenal, this uh, Ryobi cordless screwdriver slash drill. Um, the older one I had, I think you can see it in my previous video, I had that for years. It was a corded uh, drill screwdriver, and um, I think it was losing, losing its torque. I was having a bit of trouble trying to drill things in, but this thing handles... Handles my projects like a champ, so I'm really pleased. So here's the finished base of the sectional. And now it's time to tackle the back support. So let's take a look at the back of the sectional again. It's um, it's a clean lines, um, just a simple support system. I am going to modify it as you'll see um, in the next frame. Um, I decided instead of doing a hidden um, pocket hole system, I just wanted to make this make this quick and just do a you know just a, a kind of cross support with the. Um, with the uh, with the wood so as you see me here I'm just doing some measuring um, just to make sure that uh, each of the cross beams are um, are even before I actually secure them to each other
So here I am securing the back rest of the sofa to the bottom of the frame. So I'm securing it from the underside of the frame and then I'm gonna turn it over and secure it from the back as you'll see. So here is the completed unfinished sectional frame ready for stain. Off camera, I stained this in a mocha color that I already had on hand. And I also top coated it with an Olympic uh, waterproofer since it would be out in the elements. Off camera, I also made this coffee table to complement the sofa sectional using the same mocha stain. I purchased the Frozone chair covers from Ikea and then inserted some foam that I got from Home Depot. These gifted chairs were once brown. I spray painted them black and added some cream cushions. This centerpiece was also a DIY. I simply painted a black box and added some Dollar Tree stones and candles. This patio rug I already owned. I purchased it on clearance from Lazy Boy years ago. And this concludes part one of Building My Backyard Oasis. Be sure to tune into my next video, part two, where you'll see how I styled the other half of my backyard oasis. Until next time. Thanks for watching.